I'm going to be completely honest with you all. I don't even know why this is a topic of conversation, why this is even a question, why people even believe that one is better than the other when the proof is in all of the pudding, really. And, you know, from the title of the video, from the thumbnail of the video, I think you guys can take a good guess at what we're going to be talking about today. This whole premium versus live service argument, specifically for Battlefield, is ridiculous and just not really a conversation to be had at all. Because the games that have... No, 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 hold on. Let me, let me not get too ahead of myself here. This one might be a long-winded one, boys. You might want to sit back and relax, get a snack or something. Cause I'm about to, I'm about to go, I'm about to go in, as the kids say. <laughs> uh, anyways, USA Specialist, a YouTuber, fellow YouTuber, tweeted out on Twitter on January 15th. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen for you guys, uh, if I can, if I can grab the graphic. After six seasons and two plus years of live service, Battlefield 2042 has many new, as many new maps as Battlefield One's first what? DLC. Now. I know what you're all thinking. Gavin, BF1 was a better game. It had more players. It was this. It was a different time. It was a different year. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear none of that boo shit from any of you. I'm going to be 100% honest. I don't even... Listen, I know the quality of the game doesn't necessarily equate to what is put into... The, the content that's put into the game... But it does equate to the playability and longevity of said game, no matter said quality. So, yes, 2042 came out and swung and missed tremendously. It dropped players. It lost like 90% of its player base in like two weeks or three weeks or whatever. And DICE, I remember, because they delayed season one to make decisions on what they wanted to do with the with the content. If you guys, you know, do it. Because it was supposed to come out in like January season one. And we didn't get it till like February or March or something like that. And that's because they were they could just they can just up and decide with the live service model that oh we don't have enough player count oh we this this and that okay let's drip feed them drip feed them drip feed them drip feed them drip feed them, drip feed them to death and that's what they've done with Battlefield 2042 whether they've got it in a better place or whether they haven't it doesn't really matter you're telling me that in two years of this game we've gotten six seasonal maps. And BF1's first DLC was six. Like, I, it's like, oh, but this game does it good. But this game does it good. And this game and this game. It's like, what do all those games have in, have in common? A, they're free. B, they're battle royales. That, like, that's my biggest thing. It's like, oh, Fortnite does live service, right? I'm like, okay, name another one. Oh, and that's where the buck stops because other games <laughs> don't do it very well because it's not really it, it, the live service is cool for like BRs and you know it makes sense but from a multiplayer respawn spawn die spawn die spawn die that gameplay loop that Battlefield is still clutching their clutching onto to this day is is not really built for live service a premium has always been the better the better thing for battlefield i know i'm kind of everywhere because i don't script these things i just i just get on i just get on the mic and start and start spitting a little bit but it's ridiculous to think that you could have the opinion that after two battlefield games in a row by the way bf5 and now bf 2042 live service that you think it's a good idea to have live service in battlefield games no matter the quality no matter the launch no matter the whatever 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 if you're telling me the base game of the next Battlefield game. The next actual Battlefield game. Not whatever Ripple Effect's working on. It's a BR, by the way. Anyways, whatever whatever the next Battlefield... If you're telling me, Gavin, instead of paying $70 for the base game, you can pay $110, $115 for premium, and you're guaranteed to get four or five, whatever DLC packs, right? With four plus maps, guns, da -da -da. obviously they're not going to reveal everything, but... You can get the old premium system back in its exact iteration. I'm taking that all day. And before you jump down my throats talking about, ah, uh, it splits the player base up, blah, 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 blah. There's a, an extremely easy fix for this. And I'm going to say it right now. 
It's called a timed premium, people. Timed, meaning you put a timer on how exclusive uh, the exclusivity to it for the people who have premium. So, for example, we got season seven coming out in March of 2042, right? Let's just say that was a traditional DLC. We are getting two maps. Woohoo! Let's just say we were getting four. Right, we're gonna get the vehicle, we're gonna get the gadgets, we're gonna get the guns. Let's say it was it was the old premium style. At launch, obviously, premium gets the maps, maybe some exclusive skins, some exclusive cosmetics, da 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 da. Everybody gets whatever the vehicle challenge was gonna be, the weapon challenges, uh, the gadget challenges, and all that. Everybody gets that. But the premium people get, you know, the maps and some exclusive other stuff, right? For being premium. Uh, two weeks to a month go by, right? People have played the ever living shit out of it. The premium holders have. They've played it. Now they've gone back to the normal rotation, uh, map rotation or servers or whatever that they would normally be playing because they've just beat the DLC into the ground, right? <laughs> because it's something new and something fresh. and It's fun. It should be fun. All you have to do is after that, you know, three, two, three week, month, whatever time, you release it to everybody. You can remarket the DLC. You can inject it in in you know inject some life into the dlc now whether they would make it free for everybody or would make it purchasable for i, I don't know i haven't worked out every single detail I'll let your boy live a little bit let your boy live a little bit but this is just my kind of way of, of thinking about it because if you do it this way I, I i wouldn't you know i wouldn't be mad at it maybe some other people would be mad like oh i paid this much why don't i get da, 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 da. i get it right we gotta we gotta we gotta hammer out some of the kinks in it there's a couple of kinks but I believe that would be the best way to, to to get rid of this. Oh, it splits the player base up. Oh, those servers are never full after a certain amount of time because, uh, you know, not everybody buys premium. Blah 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 blah. Right? I understand, and I think that could be an easy fix for it. But now, now that we're done, kind of, you know, obviously the BF4, BF3, BF1 was premium. I don't know if Backup Any Two was pre. I, I didn't play the Backup Any Two, so BF3, Four, Hardline, One were all premium, which are all Battlefield games I played. BF5 was our first toe dip into the live service, and it went horribly until you know. <laughs> I find it funny. I think we could all agree, maybe not all of us, that Battlefield Five Pacific update and dlc was the best dlc they had put out in that game point blank period it's not even close not even close and, and you know what's weird to me it it eerily and strangely mirrored isn't it weird how it mirrored the premium model and it happened to be the best injection of content into the isn't that weird that's weird wait we got wait wait you're telling me we got four maps we got two new factions the usa and japan all the vehicles that came with it, all the weapons that came with it, right? The map, the locations, all that stuff. Yes, we did get it for free. I know, I know, I know, I know we got it for free. I understand. So I'll give them that. We got it for free. But don't you think it's weird that the the, the piece of content that mirrors premium the most in this live service era was the best piece of content they've put in the last two Battlefield games? <laughs> like, best... DLC they put in the game. Does nobody else realize this? Now, you can talk about the quality of the maps. The planes were OP. This was... I, I get it. I get it. But the hype generated around the... I don't think you guys... I don't think people quite remember because we're some years removed from it now. Bro, the game was popping when the Pacific DLC came out for a, like, months. People... The player count on Steam was peaking up in the 50, 60, 70, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Up in the 50, 60, 70 thousands for, you know, up until they cut support for the game. Like, the game was, like, on the on the up and up. And they cut support for what we have today, which is about a little 20 more. Uh, it's great, right? Great. But I, it, it's weird to me how, how the tr traditional premium model style DLC pack uh, kind of was the best we've gotten since 2018. And it's 2024, ladies and gentlemen. That's six years. And and the one piece of one DLC injection into both of these games mirrored the premium style, and it was the best, in my opinion. I don't even know why this is an argument. If done right, if done right, if done, I'm tired of hearing that. If done right, it hasn't been done right because the games have not lived up to snuff to be done right. So, because all they have to do is, oh, our game's not well received. Oh, okay, 
Well, um, yeah, you know those two maps they were going to get a season, three maps they were going to get a season? Yeah, make it one and just drip feed them content for years and years until we get to the next game where we can do the same fucking thing next. I, If they come out in the next game and there is and it's live service again and it's not premium and the game comes out and it's not well received and people leave and they delay the first season of the game or whatever and it, they start drip feeding us content. Do not come, do not come, don't go on Reddit, do not go on Twitter, do not come on my YouTube channel, do not go on anybody else's YouTube channel, bitching, moaning, and complaining, because this is what you asked for. That's what you asked for. So, don't, don't complain. You better be careful. You better be careful what you asked for. And I have to be careful for what I asked for, too, because if we know EA and we know... Eh, if they were to do premium, they would somehow figure out to be finagly and sneaky with it and be able to do... I, I know. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Gavin, how how do we know that premium would come back in its rendition that it was in before? We don't. We don't. I will give you that. We do not. I will, I will you know, conclude that that is the truth, that we don't know if it would come back in its original rendition. But I do know one thing. If it did... God willing, if it did come back in its original rendition, it'd be better than this bullshit we've gotten for two years. Would it not? Would it not? That's that, that, that's 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 the question I'm asking you. I feel like I've been ranting for a little while. I get fired up about this, man. This premium versus live service shit gets me fired up so fast, man. I, I, I think my points have been made. I was kind of everywhere in this video, but I think my points have been made get this live service cancer out of my battlefield game please give me premium let me pay my extra 50 60 bucks make it timed you can still do it you can still do skins you can because it's cosmetic only so who cares you can still do a store you can still i don't care hell you can still do a battle pass i don't care i don't care i want maps guns gadgets if they're gonna do specialists again specialist I don't really care. Maps, guns, gadgets. Maps, guns, gadgets, vehicles. Maps, guns, gadgets, vehicles. I, I don't care about anything else. I just want real co playable content. Yeah, like, yeah, I like my soldier to look cool, but I can't see them unless I'm in the main menu. Yeah, I like my gun to look cool, so I'll give you that. Gun skins are cool. Maps, guns, vehicles, gadgets. That's all that should matter in a FPS game when we're asking for content to be put in yeah, said me, FPS me, game, especially a respawn shooter like Battlefield. So, I think I'm done ranting. If you guys have stick around to the end of this video, I appreciate put a, Put a one in the comment section if you're at the end of this video. Put a one. I need to know. I need to see the real, 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 real ones. Now, none of you put a one. I see how it is. I get it. I'll make these videos like five minutes long next time. <laughs> I just, I had to turn on the mic and get ranty real quick because I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the red dirt, but if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends. We will be streaming a little later after this video goes up, so be sure to come and uh, uh -oh. check yeah. your boy out. Actually, when am I going to release this video? Hmm. We actually might not be streaming when this video comes out. Don't don't quote me. Don't quote me. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. All links are down in the description below. Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. And... Yeah, consider becoming a member on the channel, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys did enjoy this kind of ranty, you know, commentary style of video. These are these are pretty easy to make. It's just hard to find topics to talk about. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See ya. Bye, guys.